My name is Gabby and I am a junior at Newman and I'm an educational studies major with a minor in social work and I'm involved in many clubs such as Campus Ministry, Nights for Education, Resident Peer Ministry, I'm an ambassador and I'm also a navigator. So today I'm going to do the virtual tour of Newman. So we're starting out with the Newman Circle. So Newman Circle is the main point of campus. You can pretty much meet anyone here at the Newman Circle. You can get to almost every building from the Newman Circle as well. Off to the left you can see the parking lot. So Newman is a 50-50 with commuters and resident students. So a lot of our Commuter students park in this parking lot and a lot of our faculty and staff as well. And if you do come on campus for an actual tour, there is reserved parking spots for you guys as well. So there are spots over there so you guys know where to park. So this is the RAB, also known as the Rocco A. Abyssinio building. So in the RAB, you have a lot of your theology classes, a lot of business majors will have a lot of business classes down here. And there's also the new health science building. So in here, this is the 12 at the Rab. So 12 at the Rab is open as long as the building is open. It's a nice little place to get a quick grab and go. So a lot of our nursing students might get something to eat in here. A lot of our business feeders, if you have a theology class, depending on what it is, you might just want to come in here, grab something, heat it up or take it to go. I know I have, have not had any classes in here since this cafe has been built, but I did come down here one time because I wanted something to eat and I wanted to try it out and it's pretty good. So definitely take advantage of it. You can use your own credit card there. You can use your nights points, your bonus points or meal swipes as well. Um, this is the, the nursing auditorium, the Bayada or auditorium. So this is new with the new health science building. So it has about 13 rows and there are microphones. So if you're sitting in the back, which is the angle we can see from here, then you can speak into the microphone and your professor who's in the front can hear you. And there's a big screen that comes down in the front so you can see what's going on. And if you are sitting in the back, there are two TV screens against the wall as well. So you can see also what is going on if you can't see that well from the front. The way it's set up is there's two rows. So one row can turn around and they can collaborate with the row behind them. It's pretty cool seeing this nursing hall because before this was built our classes were held in our auditorium which is what you guys can see later on in the tour. Another new thing within the RAB is this building uh, or is this classroom the data analytics lab so this was new when they built the health science building they also renovated the RAB a little bit and this is another renovation they made. So in here you have a lot of your business classes and our cybersecurity majors also have classes in here as well. Um, so the computers you see can go down or they can come up. Currently they are up. The teacher can control whether they are up or they are down. As you can see along the top, there are the stocks. Currently they're not going around since it's just a picture, but if you do go to visit this lab, then you can see the stocks going around. They have the scores of different games, different things like that. And on the above the Newman University screen on the left, there's the different times as well. So we have Newman time for Newman and we have different times. And then we have the Dublin time for Sister Marguerite who is from Ireland. So next we're gonna go to the Bruder Life Center. The Bruder Life Center, this angle, you can see it from here. If you go in these doors here, then you're in the communications wing. So inside the communications wing, we have the uh, TV studios, we have editing rooms, we have the student multi-purpose hall, and we have the radio suites. So a lot of communications majors tend to spend a lot of their time in here, but you can spend your time in here even if you're not a communications major. So one of my best friends is a communications major and I never see her because she's always in this uh, building. She's always in the radio suite. Um, a cool thing with Newman is that just because you're not a communications major, you can doesn't mean you can't get involved. So like I said, I'm an educational studies major, but that doesn't mean I can't go in here and get a radio show or I can't be involved in the TV studio. So that's a cool thing. It doesn't matter what your major is, you can always get involved. Here are the pictures of this building. So right here is the cafe. So this is our main cafe on campus. So in here, it's an all you can eat style buffet. So all you gotta do is swipe your ID and then you can go in and eat as much as you want. Depending on the days, depends on the hours. We have uh, brunch, we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then we even have a late night option. They have a bunch of varieties in here. We have pasta station, we have a pizza station, we have a grill station, uh, we have 
different uh, dietary need stations as well. So we have a gluten-free section with its own microwave and its own different types of foods. We have an international station who always is making something different every single day and depends on lunch or dinner. It's always something different as well. We have a salad bar and my favorite, we have an ice cream bar as well. So here is the meager theater. So this is where uh, we have plays that are held here. We have different shows. So we have different dance teams. So the Boogie Nights one have a show in here. During homecoming, we have a homecoming race, which is um, pretty much like king or queen. We have talent shows in here. We have different guest speakers that come in here. And before the Bayada Auditorium in the Newhouse Science Building was built, this is where nursing classes used to be held. So before we had that big, huge auditorium, nursing classes were held in here because this was our biggest room on campus. Here is the student multi-purpose hall. So in the student multi-purpose hall is used for many things. Um, if you come on campus for an admissions event, you might have a Saturday visit start in here. You might have a United for a day start in here, different events like that. Um, sometimes we have conferences held in here for the students or for our staff and faculty. Sometimes we have fun events as well. So we might have bingos in here. We have guest speakers held in here. One of my favorites was when we had Bernie Perron come in and he talked about his alcohol addiction and he was held in this room. So it was nice just hearing him speak and we have different things that happen in this room as well. So next we're gonna go to the Bachman building. So this building in the back where you can see the shuttle, that is our Bachman main building. So almost everything's held in here. So all of our offices in here, our admissions offices in here, financial aid, our business office, our advisor's office, our re registrar's office, all of our offices, majority of them are held in here. So within the Bachman building, you'll have a lot of your like gen ed classes and depending on your major, you might have a lot of your classes in here. So I'm an educational studies major. I have all of my classes in here, regardless if they're a gen ed or if they are an actual major related classes. Um, nursing or nursing labs are in here, bio biology labs are in here, different things like that are in here. We have the, uh, you can't see right now, but we have the hub, which is when you first walk in on the ground floor. And that's where our study abroad office is. That's where our ARC is, which we'll see a picture of. Um, that's where our advisor center is. We have a mail room. We have Night's Cafe. We have different things like that. And I'll point them out or talk about them later on in the tour. Right now with the pictures we can see. So this is our CDC center, which is kind of off to the side. This is where our uh, daycare students come. A cool thing for educational studies or education majors is that you can get a work study position in here if that's something you're interested in. Um, this is our Morgan Circle and this is our other Morgan Circle. So if you go in this doors here where the, uh, the awning is, if you go in there, that's where you can go right into the hub, which leads right into ground floor. And like I said, that's where the uh, study abroad office is, that's where the registrar's office, the writing center, and the advising center and there's a bunch of different things on the ground floor as well one of my favorites office that's in there is the study abroad office so i currently have the pleasure of this past spring break to study abroad to london and england and i went to scotland as well so i studied abroad in the united kingdom and all i had to do was go in there talk to jim Minster about like how to do that different things like that i really recommend studying abroad if you get the chance and if you can't do it for a semester do it for a spring break trip or a summer trip best week of my life and I'm really glad I went. In there we have the writing center and the ARC. We will see a picture of the ARC later on in the tour and within the ARC you can get free tutoring in there and if you are doing really well in a class you may be able to become a work study student who can get paid to tutor students. In the writing center it, you all have if you're writing a paper and if you need it proofread, then you can go in there and make an appointment and they can proofread your paper and they can help you figure out what you need to adjust or what things you might need to change around in your paper as well. So this is a little bit more of the Bachman building. This is one of our bio labs. A lot of our labs are held on the second and third floor of Bachman. This is our academic resource center. So this is the office where I was saying you can get some free tutoring. So it's on our ground floor. So all you got to do is just go in there and you can speak to someone in person and they can help you schedule an appointment. You can do it online. There's different ways you can go about getting a, an appointment to help get free tutoring. So my freshman year, I was struggling really bad in my one math class and I decided to go in there and I decided to get some free tutoring because I knew I needed help in order to pass and I was able to pass the class and pass it with one of the highest grades in the class because I was able to go in there and get some tutoring, which really helped. So this is our library. 
So our library is on our first floor of um, Bachman Building. So if you go in the main doors, it's gonna be right to your right. And in the library, we have different tables. So as you can see where the majority of the students are, they're at our collaboration tables with the computers. So those tables are shaped like that so you can work in groups and you can work across from someone, different things like that so you can work on your projects. Against the windows, we have some tables and we have high top tables and we have where you can sit as yourself or you can sit with a group. You can do whatever you want to sit, however you want to sit at those tables. Um, and then as you can see, we have an upper level. So right on our upper level on the right hand side of the screen, you can see other than the bookshelves with the books, down the hallway is our um, study room. So we have a bunch of study rooms. So a lot of our nursing students or students who use them for different tests um, can go in there. So there's study rooms, so you can book it as long as you have two or more people, you can book it for an hour, you can book it for two hours. You can book it for as long as you need as long in order to study for your exam. I've used them before. I've used them to work on projects. It's a nice way for all of you guys just to get together instead of meeting someone's actual room or whatever. It helps, especially if you have commuters in your groups as well. So here's another nursing lab. So a lot of our nursing labs have hands-on activities as well as almost everything else on campus. So in here you can see some dummies. You can see actual things that you will be using in a hospital. So our nursing students can be able to use this and practice for the real world. Another nursing and bio lab. Here is our Sacred Heart Chapel. So uh, within our Sacred Heart Chapel, we have daily mass here at noon, and then we have Sunday night mass at 7 p.m. With our Sunday night mass, it's all student run other than the things that the priest needs to do. So like I said earlier, I was involved in campus ministry, and this is one way I'm involved in campus ministry. I'm a Eucharistic minister, I'm a lector, and I'm also a server. So if Maria or Patrick, who are in charge of campus ministry, if they need me to do something at mass, then I can step up and do it for them. Um, if this is something you're interested in and getting involved this way, you can definitely reach out to Patrick or Maria and they'll be more than happy to get you involved. Within campus ministry, there's other ways you can get involved as well. There's retreats. So within the retreats, there's the Rises Freshman Retreat, there's the Surge Retreat, and there's the Senior Retreat. So with the Rises Freshman Retreat, it is strictly for freshmen. I personally went on it my freshman year and my sophomore year last year, I was able to lead it. It's a fun way to just get out of your comfort zone, meet some new people. I've met some of my best friends because of that retreat. So I definitely recommend it for freshmen. For the Surge Retreat, it is kind of like Kairos if you've gone to Catholic school, so it's a nice spiritual way to get out of your comfort zone again and go on a nice little retreat. You go away for the weekend. I went on it this weekend of my life. And then there's the senior retreat, which is strictly for seniors. So that's one way to get involved in getting this ministry. Another way to get involved is also by doing service trips. So within service trips, you can do a small one for a week. You can do another one for a weekend. There's different service trips you're able to do. So we have the freshman fall break trip, which is for freshmen. And depending on how many people sign up, they might open it again to the whole university, but sometimes it's just strictly for freshmen. And that's a small little service trip you'll go away. I did that my freshman year and we went to York PA, which is out near Hershey. And we were able to do Habitat for Humanity. We have spring break trips and we have summer trips. So some of the places campus ministry has gone is Louisiana, South Carolina, Wyoming, Colorado. Um, they've gone to Guatemala, Bolivia, Ireland. They've gone a bunch of different places and I know they are looking into changing up the places as well. I personally had the privilege, other than going on the York trip, I was able to go to Colorado last June, so almost a year ago, I was able to do Habitat for Humanity there. This coming June, I am supposed to go to Guatemala. With everything going on, I might not be able to, but um, it's a cool way to just get out of your comfort zone, do a service trip, and meet new people as well. Next, we're going to go to the circle again. So like I said, this is the main point of campus. You can meet up with friends here. You can uh, walk to almost any building from this. So the angle we can see right now, the building to the left is our Bachman main building, which is some of the pictures I've just shown you. Straight ahead through the statues is our Bruder Life Center. Those doors lead right into the cafeteria and the theater. And then if you were to go to the right of everything, that's where the parking lots are. And then in the middle, we have our two statues of St. John Newman and uh, Mother Frances Bachman.
So this is our Miranda Center. In the Miranda Center, we have our main gym, our main athletic gym, which is where a lot of our sports play our men and women's volleyball, men and women's basketball. We have intramural sports as well. And then we have our athletic gyms. And then we also have our athletic training rooms and different things like that. So I'll point it out whenever we can see them. So within the pictures, in this picture, this is just the Miranda Center. So we have these rocks out front. So a lot of things happen on these rocks. So sometimes we might have mats out here. We uh, Teams might meet up here before they go out on the field to play. Different things like that happen out front. So this is our Miranda Center atrium. So one of the cool things that our sports teams do before their season officially begins is that they do a commissioning. So a lot of their commissioning events might be held in here. So within the atrium, that's one of the things held here. A lot of our huge admission events begin in the Miranda Center atrium. So this is where you'll begin and start your day here at Newman when you, become, when you come on campus. And some other fun things that are held here for our students is our we have bingos here, we have karaoke nights here, we have movie nights here. We have a bunch of different things held in this area as well. So this is our main fitness center. So this is our where our main gym and then we also have a varsity athletes only gym as well. So within this gym we have different equipment and then we have like you can see through the windows, we can one side you can see through the actual gym. And then the other side, you can see the turf field, then you can see some parking lots. It just depends on the angle in your gym. I like to come in the gym and just work out once in a while. A cool thing we have with our gym is that we have the 100 mile club. And that's just a really fun way to track your miles and really to just get involved and stay fit if you are interested in that. So all you got to do is bike, run or walk 100 miles and you just log your miles. You don't have to do it all in one time. You just do it every time <laughs> that you go to the gym but hey if you want to do 100 miles on one time good for you and do it so this is our athletic gym so in here we have our like i said men and women's basketball team our men and women's volleyball team we also have intramural sports so sometimes we might have intramural kickball held here we might have intramural soccer held team in here basketball different things like that also, this main gym is held for our graduations, and a cool thing with Newman is that they host a lot of local high school graduations as well. Here's another picture. So this turf field is where a lot of our athletes uh, have events, so we'll have a lot of our men and women's lacrosse, we'll have men and women's soccer, we'll have women's field hockey, we have men and women's rugby, and intramural soccer is here held at, is held here as well. I'm not an athlete myself, but I know a bunch of my friends are athletes and they love playing on this turf field. I was able to do intramural soccer twice. I did it my freshman year and this past fall semester, I was able to do intramural soccer. They're just fun ways to get out of your comfort zone again and just get involved. You just got to grab a couple of friends and get involved and do something like that. So this is our counselor and wellness center. So in here you can get free counseling. So in here we have, um, work study students, we have professional counselors, different things like that. And if you guys are stressed or need someone to talk to, you can go in here, you can schedule an appointment and talk to one of our counselors. You can also just go in there and calm down and relax. We have an aromatherapy room in there, we have games in there, just a nice little way to relax. So this is another angle for our um, turf field. So within the turf field, like I said, this is where our athletes play. So this is our baseball field. So our men's baseball team, our varsity baseball team, and then our club baseball team play here. This is our turf field again. And this is our softball field. So we have a men or a women's softball team, and this is where they have games. So another cool thing with Newman is that because it's such a small school, we are Z3 sports, but a cool thing is that all of our sporting events are free. So if you have a friend that plays softball, basketball, lacrosse, any of the sports, then you can always just go to their game and support them for free. And they do have a lot of games in a week, so you can always find a time to go. That's one of my favorite things to do on campus is that a lot of my friends and I will just get out of our rooms and go do something and go to one of the sporting events that are happening. Basketballs are one of our biggest sports here. We have men and women's lacrosse that are also big sports and our men and women's soccer team they're also pretty big uh sporting games events as well that many people go to so this is our tennis courts we do have a men and women's tennis team so 
Within our uh, residence halls, we have four different buildings. So we have, this is our main building where a lot of our freshmen live and our upperclassmen live in the apartments. So this is Flynn Hall. So within Flynn Hall, like I said, we have freshmen that live in here and we have the upperclassmen in the apartments. So the windows where are, they're like sticking out and they're kind of like a pointy, like a triangle. Those are the apartments in the, the building. So within the apartments, that's like I said, where our upperclassmen live and in the apartments they have a full kitchen, they have bathrooms, they have everything that an apartment would need just in one of our residence halls. And within the rooms, other rooms, it's just a dorm style. So it's not communal bathrooms or showers. So each room has their own bathroom and shower depending on the room and depends on the building you live in, depends on how many roommates you might have. You can have anywhere between two and six roommates. It just, like I said, depends on how. Fresh one will most likely, there'll be six of you guys in one suite and there's an A side and B side. So it's not like six of you guys in one room, it's like six of you or three of you guys in A side, three of you guys in B side. Each hall has a washer and dryer and it is free so you don't have to worry about paying to do your laundry here. There are kitchens and different things like that to be used in each resident hall if you are not in an apartment. So if a freshman is like, oh, well I like baking my mac and cheese in like an actual pot, there are kitchens in the buildings that you guys are able to use. Just make sure it's okay with your RA that you guys do that. So each, each building does have an assistant director of housing. They have a security guard there 24 seven and they also have an RA. Depending on your floor, depends on how many RAs you might have. Some floors have one RA, some floors will have two RAs. It just depends, like I said, on the floor in the building that you are in. In order to get into your actual building, you have to swipe your ID. So you have to swipe your ID to get into the building. Then once you get into the building, you have to swipe your ID at the security guard's desk. And then after that, in order to get onto your floor, you have to swipe your ID again, and then you have your key to get into your actual room. So security is something we take very seriously here on campus. Now that you know that, let's look at some pictures. So this is what our one apartment building looks like. This is Fioni. This is one of the buildings down the hall. This is where I currently live this year. This is what some of the rooms might look like depending on the room. So this is the three closets that we have in some of the rooms. and. So if you are living in a room, like I said, some rooms might have three roommates, some might have uh, two, just depends on the room. This is what a triple would look like with these rooms, and then this is what triple bed looks like. So you will have one set of bunk beds and one lofted bed. Um, if you do change that, you have to get maintenance to do that as well. But when you move in on move-in day, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have a bunk bed and you're going to have a lofted bed. Each person gets a desk, a drawer, and they get a closet. Um, so that's depending on what building you're in, depends on what type of furniture you get, but this is the general setup for our room. But other than that, that was our virtual tour. There are many things Newman has to offer, and I hope that I get to see all of you guys on campus one day. <laughs>